hello friends uh, now we are going to see this problem in the as a second problem of complex problem series let alpha be a non zero complex number okay let alpha be a non zero complex number let n be the positive integer that's a natural number show that there are n distinct complex numbers z such that z power n equal to alpha okay write this complex number into polar form this is a question from uh, Serge Lang book which I found interesting and which is useful in a many way. I will also like to tell what are other ways in the next thing. So Z, Z can be expressed at R e power i theta for some R comma theta belongs to real numbers. I hope you know about uh, polar forms. Okay. So this alpha equal to similarly let's say e power i phi. Then the equation z power n equal to alpha translates into its equivalent equivalent the symbol stands for equivalent the symbol equivalent into z power n means what r power n e power i n theta which is yes e power i phi so you take all these things and leave it there one so this is r power n by s e power i n theta minus phi equal to 1 and we know when you take absolute value it is very easy to see that suppose if you take the absolute value on this side you will still get 1 so this is r power n s which is 1 so that implies r power n equal to s so which we know that and remember that when you write in polar form this r greater than 0 and all of them are non-zero numbers okay all of them are non-zero numbers and the s is also greater than 0 and we have some kind of uh, uh, background in real analysis so that says that the nth root is exists uniquely that means r can be chosen one by n unique nth root positive sense so it's came, coming from real analysis so finally what happens that we got a unique n and moreover that n theta minus phi okay after that when you do this thing after this using you can cancel out and see that n theta must be integral Integ i mean integral in the sense of multiple i'm saying that it's an integer multiple of 2 pi of 2 pi okay so the set of solution let's say call it yes so solution stands for yes it's nothing but 1 by n e power i phi by n s1 by n and s1 by n e power i phi by n plus uh, 2 pi by n and it goes on s1 by n e power i phi by n n minus 1 2 pi by n okay and from a little bit of field theory background maybe algebra background it says that this polynomial z power n minus uh, alpha equal to 0 at most as n solution this is coming from algebra this result is coming from algebra this is a fact okay this belongs to complex of x this belongs to the complex of x and this is saying that the utmost n solutions so this implies uh, we found exactly all solution this is all solutions okay so i have done it fine in particularly what we can do when it's the nth root of unity we can see what are the things okay for example i choose alpha equal to one let this end here when I choose alpha equal to 1, what happens? Z power n equal to 1, the nth root of unity. So it stands here exactly. I'm not that. Okay, let's see. So assume that this is a radius 1 circle. Maybe it's not precise exactly. Radius 1 circle. So here that 1 is there. So this is one such root. And what happens that we have to split it into equally n parts i'm i'm just doing for uh, this one okay 
yes so equally n for so it's like uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so just as for n equal to 12 here so equally n parts and we know once if you know this and uh, and you can see that for general alpha general alpha and you have to take the mod of alpha that's what we call it as so that solutions are like this now you have to draw the bigger or smaller circle according to the s yes, the the one by s the radius one by s and choose the same thing like this where are the things okay always there will be a one unique solution in real i don't know about the left side of the real numbers but right side there will be a one one solution so you have to big or small string can bo depending on this is greater than one or less less than or equal to one if it is exactly one we know so this is how this geometrically it got interpreted so fine right for this is what i wanted to say and it has a lot of a great uh, insights i will tell you one thing about that also that one is the z go into z power n between the s1 the circle to circle okay this map is on to map from this you can conclude this map is on to map and in fact this in algebra is very important map this is a homomorphism and on to and whenever you have a um, homomorphism which is hard to let's call it this is phi kernel of phi is isomorphic to s1 so when you calculate this kernel you will exactly end up with the n nth root of unity depending on this n nth root of unity so i have seen one such question the question is that identify s1 by nth root of unity in some famous exams which is nothing but isomorphic to again s1 okay i hope you like this video please share this video to among your friends and help to grow this channel and support this channel lot of math videos are upcoming thank you